Hi everyone, I'm Marcy, and if you like comfort food, you're gonna love today's recipe because I'm going to be making turkey pot pie. This is something that you can make with leftover turkey after Thanksgiving, or you can use ground turkey like I'm gonna be doing today. First, do me a favor. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, do so right now. All you have to do is click that subscribe button on the lower right of your screen, and let's get cooking. As I mentioned in my last video, Shady Brook Farm sent me some ground turkey for me to try in my recipes and I've really been enjoying it. So today I thought I'd do sort of a different take on your traditional turkey pot pie. And instead of using shredded turkey, I'm going to be using some lean ground turkey. This is about a pound. You'll also need two pie crusts. Now this one I made earlier this morning and I've had it chilling in the refrigerator for a few hours, but I'll put a link for you on how to make it if you wanna make it homemade. You can of course use store-bought pastry or you can even use puff pastry. I've also got one 15 ounce can of mixed vegetables and you can customize this to your liking. Use whatever vegetables you like, just chop them up if you wanna go fresh, probably about a couple of cups or you can even use frozen vegetables. I also have three tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of flour, salt and pepper to taste, got about a third of a cup of chopped onion, about a fourth of a cup of fresh parsley, got one cup of heavy cream, one and a half cups of chicken broth, and then finally you'll need an egg with just a tiny bit of water for an egg wash in the end. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm first going to roll out my pie crusts. I'll place the bottom crust into my pie plate. And set them both aside while I prepare the filling. I heat a large saucepan over the stove at medium high heat with just a little olive oil to coat the bottom of the pan. Then I add in the ground turkey and break it up as it cooks. I'll toss in the onion, as well as the salt and pepper, and I'll continue to let it cook until the onion is translucent. Next, we're going to make a roux using equal parts butter and flour. I'll first get all the butter melted into the meat. Then I'll add the flour and continue mixing for another minute so that the flour gets cooked. Now we can add in the liquids. That's the chicken broth and the heavy cream. And we'll just continue stirring until it thickens into a creamy gravy. This should take about six to eight minutes. Finally, we can add in the vegetables. If you're using canned, be sure to drain the liquid. I'll also add in the fresh parsley, reserving just a little for garnish. I'll get it all combined and this filling is ready to go into the pie dish. You just pour the mixture into the prepared pie shell. Get it all smoothed out, then we'll top with the second pie crust. So at this point, you can take a knife and cut off the excess dough and then just sort of pinch it together all around, or you can fold the dough over and press it down just to seal the edges. It's entirely up to you and how you want it to look. But a part of the beauty in making a homemade pot pie is uh, you want it to look sort of rustic, not like it came from the store. It should be perfectly imperfect, in my opinion. Thank you. 
When you've got the edges of your pie crust all sealed, take a sharp knife and cut a few small slits on the top crust to create some steam vents. Finally, make an egg wash by combining one egg with a little water. I'm using about two tablespoons. And you just brush it over the entire surface of the pie. I'm going to sprinkle a little fresh parsley on top, but this is optional. Then place the pot pie into the oven at 375 degrees and let it bake for 45 minutes until the pastry is golden brown. Just keep an eye on it because sometimes the edges can get overly browned so you may want to cover the edges in foil or if you have a protective ring like this, it's really helpful. This turkey pot pie is absolutely beautiful. Now you do have to resist the temptation to cut into it right after pulling it out of the oven. The longer you let it set, the more firm it's gonna be. And if you were to cut into it right away, it's just gonna run all over the place. Now that said, it's still a pot pie, so it is gonna be runny. So you'll have to decide if you wanna try to cut it in the traditional pie triangle and hope that it holds together or if you just want to dig in with a spoon. I'm sort of debating myself, but um, I think I'll go ahead and try this way first, but I'm not going to hold my breath, and if it falls apart, so be it. Mm, look at that, that looks good. I could have probably let this set even a little longer, but I'm really anxious to try this. Mm. Oh, it's so good. You've got this flaky crust with this creamy filling, and I'm really loving the ground turkey and the vegetables coated in this wonderful gravy. It's just the ultimate comfort food. I really hope you try it, and if you do, let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I also invite you to follow me at Marcy Inspired on Instagram and Facebook. Until next time, blessings from my kitchen to yours.